guys, it's Curly Proverbs. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to be going over my 2016 favorites, my ride or die, absolute must have favorites for hair and for beauty. I've tried to keep it to five of each. Let's see how I go. I'm also really excited to say that today's video is a collaboration with the gorgeous Layla from Fusion of Cultures here on YouTube. She's been my friend for some years now. I think I've, I've known her probably for about three or four years now. She's gorgeous. She does lots of hair tutorials, curly hair, kinky hair, natural hair tutorials, styling tutorials on styling wraps, styling hair, retaining moisture. She also does travel vlogs. She does like chit chat videos as well. And her channel is just super, super fun. So be sure to check her out and also be sure to let her know that I sent you. So without further ado, let's get into my favorites. This is in no particular order in fact, actually it's it's not in order of preference but it's in order that I will probably use it and what I've done is I have I know I talked about loads of hair products throughout the year because you know as a blogger you get sent lots of different items and you try lots of different things you can kind of become a bit of a product junkie so it's really difficult but I managed to whittle down to my top five products of the whole of 2016. So you can essentially go out and buy these five products and you're set, especially for the winter time. So let's see what I have. I mentioned this in my most recent routine video and it is the Caracare Cleansing Cream. Now, I really suffer from like a dry scalp in the winter time, like, you know, I don't know what it is, the change of weather just does not do great things for my skin or my scalp. And I saw a trichologist who showed me my scalp was extremely dry, extremely, extremely dry. And she actually recommended this particular cleansing cream. And I really like the fact that, if I'm honest with you, it is so moisturizing, I can actually start detangling and it almost feels like I have got a conditioner in my hair so I can actually start the detangling process with the cleanser in. It sets up really really slightly like I feel like you can see like really really tiny bubbles and it's super hydrating. It is the only thing bar nothing else that I have tried this whole year that has been able to take care of my scalp that is like an actual product. I mean Rasol Clay of course, but as far as an actual store-bought cleansing cream slash shampoo category, this is the only thing that's worked. So the next thing you want to do once you have cleansed is I go in and I deep condition every single time. And I am literally onto yet another jar of this, virtually empty. First off, so let me just say what it is first off. It is the Sheer Moisture 10 in 1 Multi Benefit Hair Mask. And I have to say it is my favorite new conditioner of this year. You guys know my stock of favorites, you guys can check them out. But as far as 2016, my favorite deep conditioner. I think one of the things that really endeared me to the brand is the fact that it was started by a Serionian. If you guys have been watching my channel for a minute, you know that's part of my heritage. So this was actually started by a mother of four at the age of 19 in my hometown, Freetown, yes. So yeah, that kind of endeared me to it. It's got super fruit complex, it's got marula oil, which has peptides that actually support the elasticity of the hair. It also contains biotin, which you guys know is awesome for hair growth and just general hair health. And it's got super fruit com complex with red raspberry, goji, guava, um, and it's just packed full of antioxidants. And can I just say, it smells divine. It smells like so clean. It's not got like any heavy tones to it at all. It's very, very fruity. It smells amazing. The slip is amazing. My daughter's got like much bigger curls than me. And whenever I put it in, I just want to keep playing with her hair for the whole day. It just leaves her hair so supple, so moisturized, and the same with me. All I do is throw in my honey, throw in maybe a little bit of avocado oil or coconut oil, and then apply this with heat. 
girl, love it. Absolutely, really nourishes my hair for the winter time. Really takes care of business. So, yeah. Now at the moment, I have really been loving going in with butters. And yeah, you guessed it. Camille Rose Naturals Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Now once I have put my leave-in into my hair, I go in with this butter and I can twist my hair or I can leave it as a wash and go. And I know for an absolute fact, if I put this on my leave-in conditioner and I step out of the door with a wash and go, that my hair is going to continue to be super defined and popping. Yes. Let me just tell you, this right here, the Design Essentials Natural Defining Cream Gel, this. It says right here that for best results, you should use it with your daily moisturizing lotion or your leave-in. Look, can I just show you, look at the definition. Lady, this is, this is three days in, the bounce, three days. I have actually done nothing to my hair since I applied this. It's so manageable and got that movement, you know. Yeah, now. <laughs> this cream jelly. First off, look at the texture of it. I don't know if you guys can see the wobble. Can you see that? And you just... Isn't that really, really cool? Oh my days. It smells like vanilla icing. It smells so, so, so good. What's amazing about... Look, this feels like you are putting a deep conditioner into your hair. It's a really thick consistency, but it's obviously really bouncy as well. And I literally apply it liberally as if I am applying my deep conditioner. There's no shame in my game. When I do that, like I go in, my hair is so popping. Granted, the only thing about it is that, you know, it takes a longer time for my hair to dry when I apply this, but when it does, honey, the curls are popping. I also have to work a bit harder with this, um, Afro curl, Afro pig, just to get the volume in. But as I say, that's what I've used. And you can see I've got a hell of a lot of volume going on. Hella lot of volume going on. So it does get there, but it just takes a bit longer to dry than if I wasn't to apply it. So what I really like about this is that it leaves my curls super defined, it's super popping. It's really lightweight on the hair, like, the definition is there. It doesn't feel crunchy or anything like that. It's really, really lightweight on the hair. Um, and it says here that it contains olive oil, jojoba oil, and avocado oil. If you know anything about these oils, they are of the size that can actually penetrate into the hair shaft. So a lot of oils that you put on are very beneficial, but they actually stay on the actual outside of the hair shaft, whereas these oils are able to penetrate. And of course, jojoba is like the closest thing that we can get to human sebum is jojoba oil. So it's really, really balancing and really, really good for the hair. Um, it also contains glycerin, which makes my hair feel, my hair loves glycerin. It makes my hair feel really, really soft and really, really moisturized. Um, and of course it contains almond oil, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, like some really, really good stuff. This is a game changer. But every single wash day I have found myself reaching for this. I just can't, I just can't do without, so yeah. Now I'm gonna talk about this. I get contacted by naturals very often who have gone through this big chop. They're really, really passionate about their hair care. They're really thorough and they take, they take a lot of time and invest a lot of time in their hair care. And they feel like, okay, I love my curls, but I get the shrinkage and I really would like to straighten my hair or blow out my hair and apply heat and not actually have to worry about the consequences for my hair strand. So, 
they're like, what do I do to make sure I don't like completely destroy my curl pattern and damage my hair? Hands down, this is the, um, I can't tell you how many boxes of this I've gotten through, just for the strengthening properties, even if you are not straightening your hair. This is fantastic. This is a fantastic combo. I cheated because basically I've made it about eight products instead of five. This quinoa and bamboo hair repair range by Design Essentials is absolutely the one. Like it contains biotin, it has, of course, no parabens, no dyes, no sulfates, no mineral oils, no petroleum, no DEA, no TEA. And you guys know how much I love henna on my channel. I'm always talking about the strengthening properties of henna. And again, another question that I get a lot from women is, uh, I want my hair to be strong, but I don't want the color of my hair to change because I've applied henna. And I cannot recommend enough the strengthening properties of this line. Like literally, once you put in the liquid strengthening mask um, and the leave-in conditioner sealant, your hair feels immediately stronger. Like you can immediately feel the fibers of your hair are stronger. Um, and I would recommend actually following this up with a moisturizing leave-in conditioner because even though it says that this is like the final step and it is the leave-in, I would follow it up with a moisturizing leave-in conditioner just to balance it out. If you guys are interested in the moisture, protein, balance, hair growth video still, please do let me know and I will come at you guys with that. First thing you do is that you cleanse with this um, biotin shampoo, which of course contains biotin. It contains, um, it contains hydrolyzed quinoa, um, which means actually that the amino acids and the proteins in the quinoa has actually been reduced to a size that can actually penetrate your hair. So like where, whenever you're looking at a product and it says that it is hydrolyzed, that is a really good thing because basically they have broken down that particular molecule so it can actually get into your hair shaft. So that is the business. So I cleanse with this. If I'm straightening my hair in particular, I like to use this to cleanse because I want to completely clarify my hair and remove all build up. Whereas the cleansing cream is more kind of like on a daily, um, if I don't feel like I need to clarify my hair and lift like product, completely strip my hair of everything and reset, I use the cream. When I want to do otherwise, I go in with this. And then this is a great alternative to henna. Another question that I get asked a lot is, um, just checking I'm recording still, what can I use as opposed to henna? Because like I'm always raving about henna on my channel like literally there's like video evidence of this um but a lot of people don't want their hair color to actually change so what i would recommend is this by design essentials is the quinoa and bamboo hair repair leave-in conditioner and the strengthening mask oh my days when you put this into your hair tell me if i'm lying like if anybody's used this you need to comment below just to vouch for what i'm saying your hair feels instantly strengthened like instantly absolutely strengthened and then i would follow that up with a leave-in just to balance out because this kind of has a feel of like protein and of course it does contain proteins in there it's got wheat protein it's got hydrolyzed wheat starch um it's got bamboo extract it's got biotin it's got hydrolyzed silk proteins as well so really really good proteins um and I would always follow this up with a moisturizing leave-in. Now, if you are still interested in the protein, moisture, balance, hair growth video, please do let me know below and I will be sure to come at you with that. I feel like I'm going out of focus, so just, I mean, shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, I think I'm back in focus again. I don't know what this camera's doing. So that's it as far as my hair favorites and I wanted to come at you with some beauty favorite can i just say this particular concealer it's the radiant creamy concealer by nars oh my goodness i got it in macadamia 
It's my absolute favorite concealer of the whole year. And I have tried a few. I have tried, I have tried the um, LA Pro that's really popular this year. I also use the Bobbi Brown one that comes in a very similar um, packaging to this, but I found that it really highlighted the creases under my eyes. Any fine lines, it really, really exaggerated. And I'm really glad to say that this one doesn't. Also, the coverage on this is amazing. Like, especially if I'm going to an event or if I'm shooting, every single time I will be reaching for this. It really helps with like bags, dark circles, which unfortunately I've kind of become acquainted with this year because I'm a mum, I work almost full time and I'm doing YouTube and I run a house. So what often gets like skimped on is my sleep. So this has absolutely been a fantastic product for me. I have to say as well that you must work really quickly with this product. Otherwise I feel like it just set so like you kind of have to work really really quite quickly um, in order to get the best out of this product next i wanted to mention the deck of scarlet now i'm super excited about this because deck of scarlet they actually support YouTubers. They choose like makeup YouTube talent that is up and coming and they actually get them to design the makeup that they have in their packaging. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, absolutely luxe, gorgeous packaging. Like it feels velvety smooth. And what's really, really good about this is that you get two liners and you also get, hello? lipsticks, eyeshadows, highlighter, and a blush slash powder that you can use for setting as well. So this definitely goes down as my makeup subscription box of the year because you actually get such a lovely high quality package and it's only $29.95 every other month. So it's a bi-monthly uh, subscription, which is perfect. You don't want overkill. If you see the package that's coming out for a particular month, you don't actually like the colours that are in it, you can opt out of getting that particular one. So I've really been enjoying using it. If you look on my eyes today, I've actually used both of these colours, like this gorgeous shimmery tone and this plum tone. And I've also highlighted using this colour as well. So I've just highlighted here and I've highlighted under my brow. And I have used the lipstick that I'm about to show you and then I have used the um, sort of nudie beige tone lipstick there just to make the center pop a little bit to give a little bit more dimension. You guys might have noticed my lips are looking a bit fuller than usual today. Um, I overlined them basically. But I really, really like the fact that they are supporting YouTubers. And this month, January, February, it is Sandra Deluxe, guys. I love her. I love, love, love her channel. Check her out if you haven't already. She's awesome. And I'm super excited to be supporting her as a YouTuber as well. So, yes. Uh, deck of Scarlet. I like. On my lips today, I have... I'm, I'm probably going to completely butcher how you're supposed to pronounce this, but it's poem, poemi, I think. Let's auto. Are we auto focusing? We're still so out of focus. This is by Lancome. Girl, let me just do that little action again. How cool is that? Love it. On my lips today, I'm wearing poem or poemi. Please, I know if somebody's French out there, they're going to correct me. I'm really sorry if I'm butchering it but it is the most gorgeous. It's so hard to describe. And it's got sort of a plummy um, coral undertone. I know that sounds like such a contradiction, but it's basically what I'm wearing today. And then I lined my lips actually using the lip liner from the Deck of Scarlet package that I received. So <clears throat> I've been loving this. The formula of these Lancome lipsticks so you can get matte, you can get cream, you can get sheer. These that I like are both matte. And before I talk about the formula, maybe I'll show you the other one as well. I just feel like berry noir. Ladies, really, like really the most gorgeous berry plum color. 
of my life. Like, what's awesome about these formulas is that even though they dry matte, as you can see right now, they feel so, so moisturizing. Like, I don't get the whole dry lip syndrome that you normally get with matte lip formulas. And it lasts and lasts. Like, literally the other day, I went out for lunch with my sister. And I had a starter, like calamari. I was wiping up my face. My, my face. I, I dabbed my lips. I had my drink. I had my main course. Like, I literally had my entire meal. And my lipstick was still there. And I was really, really impressed. And I'm starting to kind of feel like... With a lot of lipsticks, you actually get what you pay for. Not all the time. Like There will be some amazing lipsticks and amazing products that you will get for very affordable prices that come from the same factories but have just got different labels. So that is true. But with this, like I was so surprised at the level of quality, the staying power, the colour payoff. Just perfection. Um, by the way, until Monday? Until Monday, until Monday, yeah, until Monday, yeah, until Monday the 16th on my Instagram, I'm actually running a competition where you can win three colors from the new Lancome range of your choice. There's like 36 colors and three different formulas to choose from. If you're not following me on my Instagram, you need to go over there and follow me now because I have giveaways like all the time. Um, and the latest is these Lancome lipsticks. So you can choose any three shades that you like from 36 and three different formulations as well so all you have to do i will link the instagram post that you need to comment and tag a friend below in the description box just head over there tag a friend and you've entered to win so love these So I also wanted to recommend the Highlight and Contour Pro Palette by NYX. This, I mean, look at the range of colours that you get in here. From ivory down to deep browns. When I compare this to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the contour palette that they have, I have to say that I feel like this is so much more blendable. I feel like the tones are so much warmer. I feel that it lasts really well. It gives really, really good coverage. Like I'm using it today. You can see that it actually does look just like slightly bronzed on the outside of my um, face where my hairline is and right down to here. It really does give quite a nice like natural looking contour so i really have to say absolutely been loving this this i know you guys are gonna thank me for this one lash glue look how many old bowls of this revlon i have currently got four of these in my house just in case i run out one day suddenly or lose one i literally amazon prime them to my house because it's just the easiest way there is no lash glue i have tried and Again, I have tried a few that compares, like literally so effective, really, it gives you that confidence. I always take lash glue with me when I'm going out if I'm wearing lashes, but it does just give me that extra confidence and the staying power is incredible. I know that probably about a year ago, it's my Ray Ray also mentioned, maybe it's two years ago, it's my Ray Ray also mentioned this and I was shouting at the computer screen say yes it really is good I know I understand so yeah if you are looking for a reliable lash glue this Revlon precision lash adhesive is the one if you enjoyed this video if you found it to be helpful please please be sure to comment below let me know and give this video a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed to my channel please do so it's absolutely free and that way you won't miss out on any updates i do fashion i do lookbooks i do hair care i do hair growth i do beauty i do makeup i do get ready with me get ready with me um so i do all that good stuff so if you're not already subscribed please be sure to do so and I will see you in the next video. Bye.
happy day. Uh-huh. It's a wedding day. Uh-huh. Make we celebrate. Uh-huh. Make we celebrate. Uh-huh. To make you dance, dance. Uh-huh. And make you move, move. Uh-huh. Make you dance, dance. Uh-huh. And make you move, move. Uh-huh. If I tell you, no, no. If I tell you, yeah, yeah.